Alright, so in today's video, what we're going to be testing here today is uh, essentially uh, a rectifier. So this is what uh, charges your battery with the uh, two-wire system. Um, uh, basically, the uh, alternating current comes into uh, these two posts here. These are the inputs, and then it outputs uh, somewhere around uh, 15, 16 volts uh, to the battery to charge it while the engine is running. So basically, this converts the alternating current into a direct current. And you know these do go bad. Like this one's, this one's new. I know it's good, but this is the one we're going to be testing. So this one is going to fail the test. And the test is, uh, the test is pretty simple. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, basically with just a basic multimeter here. Uh, you just want to set your, uh, set that to the ohms. You want around uh, reading a thousand ohms. And basically we're just checking for continuity between the the ground, the post, and then the output. Okay. So I'm going to use this one because I know that this one's going to fail. I just want to show you. Okay, so the first test, you're going to take your uh, your red, put it on the uh, the ground over here. Now this test can be uh, this test can be administered while this is actually on the engine, but the wires have to be disconnected. Okay, so this is the ground, the two two alternating inputs, and then this is the output. Okay, so we're going to put the red on the ground, and then we're going to go between go between the two uh, alternating inputs and there should be uh, continuity. Alright, so that's good. Okay, nothing there. So this this rectifier has already failed the test. Okay, so now we're going to the second test. I mean, we're just going to keep going. Alright, so the black, basically put the black on the ground and then you alternate it. There should be no continuity. Good. Good. Okay. Then the third. All right, so we take the black again. We put that right here. Okay, and then we alternate here. There should be continuity. All right, so that one's good. Again, oh, that eh, looks like a failed test again. So it looks like the problem with this rectifier is right here on this post here. All right, and then for the final test, uh, we're gonna do red. We're gonna put the red here, and then we're gonna go between the two inputs. And this should have no continuity again. Okay, so it actually passed that test. Now basically on those on the four tests that we just ran there, if it fails any one of those tests, then your rectifier is bad. So this one is definitely bad, and I suspect it's probably something to do with the input on one of these posts here. Alright, well that's all I got for you. If you have any questions, uh, you can put them in the comments or if I made a mistake, feel free to correct me. Alright, thanks for watching.